My name is Liz, and welcome to our AR information video. During this video, we will discuss some features of the AR series, as well as go through the extended functions the AR series has to offer when using the OPX 2A control module or the MEX EO2 data editing software. I'll have a live demonstration of the AR product, as well as we'll do some desktop sharing with the MEX EO2 software. The AR series is a high efficiency alpha step system. It is rated for continuous duty. It offers smooth drive for low vibration and has high accuracy, plus or minus three arc minutes, with the exception of the AR46, which is plus or minus four arc minutes. The AR series is available with or without an electromagnetic brake. Here we compare the motor temperature of the AR series to that of the AS series motors. The AR is up to 40% less power consumption than that of the AS. The AR can run at higher duty cycles. Here in example one, we compare the case temperature of the AR66 to the AS66. After 40 minutes at a 50% duty cycle, Tested in an ambient temperature of 26 degrees C, we can see that the AR maintained cooler at 59 degrees C, while the AS is 96 degrees C. Here in example two, we compare several different AR products. At a continuous duty, the temperature saturated at these levels. These were also tested in an ambient temperature range of 26 degrees C. Typically for stepping motors, we don't want the motor case temperature to exceed 100 degrees C. So we can see with the AR series rated for continuous duty, the temperature saturated below that value. For the AR46 at 99 degrees C, for the AR66 at 82 degrees C, and for the AR69 at 90 degrees C. Another feature of the AR is less power consumption. Here we see the speed thus power input. We compare an AR69 to that of the AS69. There's a 70% reduction of power when using the AR at 1,000 RPM. This is mainly due to the power loss. With the low loss AR stepping motor, we can see that the motor power loss is significantly reduced when compared to that of the conventional stepping motor. In more detail, the armature iron loss is significantly reduced with the AR. This is also comparing the AR low loss stepping motor to that of the conventional stepping motor. 90% of losses due to iron loss. This is due because of the design improvements that we've had with the AR. A thinner gauge, increasing electrical resistance, the new rotor and stator teeth design, and new fastening method. When you combine the control module OPX2A or the data editing software, the MEX EO2, the AR has extended functions, has the parameter setting adjustments, monitoring, push motion operation, and return operation. Here's an example of the monitoring of operation condition by waveform. Here's the push motion operation. You can input pulses to perform push motion operation where the load continuously has force applied to it. The amount of force is set by the push motion operating current values. The return operation, there's two operations available. You can return to electrical home or the automatic return operation.
The return to electrical home operation is an operation in which the motor returns to the position it had assumed when the power was turned on, or location set as the electrical home. The automatic return operation is an operation in which the motor returns to the position at which the motor excitation was turned off. I'd like to now introduce the MEX EO2 software. Please allow a moment for the desktop sharing to connect. So you should now see a view of the MEX EO2 data editing software. Here on the parameter side are the parameters that you're able to adjust. Right now we're on the operation current. This current value is set via a dial on the driver. You can simply just click on it and change the value as you please. The speed filter is also another parameter you're able to adjust. To select the proper speed filter, it's also on a dial on the driver. The I.O., here you're able to select whether you want to be in normal operation or in push motion operation. Here you're also able to select the push motion current values, 5%, 10%, 15% is what we're currently set at, and so forth. These values are selected via the M0, M1, and M2 inputs. The standstill current, CCM is the current control mode. The alarm and warning, here you're able to change the time when the system overloads or sends out a warning. You can also do the overflow warning via rev, so in this case half a revolution. The return when doing the automatic return to home, this is the speed that it will be set at 1,000, acceleration and deceleration, and the starting speed of the return operation. The manual operation for your jog, right now we're set at 800 RPM, acceleration and deceleration of 100 milliseconds, starting speed of the jog to be 30 RPM, and a parameter for the OPX-2. For the system here, you're able to do your electronic gearing, your resolution setting, as well as the system operation. Here you have to enable the automatic return to home. On the monitor, you're able to monitor the position of the motor. Here the commanded position, the actual speed, the alarm condition, and warning condition. We can take a look at this value. The I.O., so go ahead and activate this screen for the I.O. And on the I.O. board, I'm going to turn on several different I.O.s, starting with the C on because the motor needs excitation. Here are the M0, M1, and M2 inputs. Those activate the current adjustments that we have set. The free input. Here we have the T mode input. And for the outputs, oh, we can see the end and the ready are currently on. I can go ahead and alarm out the system. See the warning turned on? 
And now the alarm turned on. So we can use the alarm reset, which is located up here to reset the alarm. There we have it. To uncheck the box so you can continue to move on to a different screen. Here is the monitoring by waveform. Here's our test to the I.O. So you're able to start your test so that you can verify that the I.O. is connected and working properly. And here's the test of operation. This is also known as the jog. So here we see that the jog we set it at 800 RPM, so we're going to see now that it will increase until it reaches that 800 RPM. And I can go ahead and alarm out the system so that we can so that we can see it here. See, we got a warning. And now we got the alarm, an overload alarm. You're able to select alarm reset here to clear the alarm and continue on with your operation. So now we can take a look at the overall AR demo. Here we have the AR motor, the AR driver, the 24 volt power supply here for the IO, the OPX-2A, and off to the side there we have the IO board. That's where I'm enabling my inputs and viewing the outputs. So right now I have the current on input. If I go ahead and turn that input off and manually move the motor, the motor will do the return to home operation. So I'm going to turn off the input, manually move the motor, And we can see that the motor has now went back to its original position, the electrical home. So if I turn off the input and manually move the motor, also you're able to do the torque limiting. So if I turn on the torque limiting input, right now I have 5% of current. I've increased it now to 10% by turning on the M0 input, and now it's going to go up to 25%, so the shaft gets harder to turn. And if I turn M0, M1, and M2, it's now back at 100%. These values were the values that we saw with the push motion operation. Here I'm going to show a basic program for the AR motor. So here the AR motor is incrementing by 500 pulses, so half a revolution. And as it's incrementing, the speed is increasing. We 
can take a look at the motor in a slower motion here. Just mo going to move continuously in the positive direction. And I can stop it and move it continuously in the negative direction. The value of torque is proportional to current, so since we set the current at a lower value with the inputs, that's how much the motor itself will have with the push motion operation. Here we have the alpha step closed loop product lineup. The AR is part of this system because it is a closed loop system featuring our alpha step technology. To learn more, please continue to view our alpha step closed loop product videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at 1-800-468-3982 or email us at techsupport at orientalmotor.com. My name is Liz, and thank you for watching our AR information video.